Alright everybody, this is the hardest video I've recorded to date and I really debated on recording it or not, but here I am and yes, I am going to repeat my first year of medical school and that's kind of why I was gone for a few weeks, you know, I had to process it and evaluate what was going on, what happened and I'm going to be really honest, the first two days were really terrible. Um, I failed it by, I failed the CVPR block by two and a half points. And I tried looking around like for other videos like this for a lot more information and there's not really a lot of uh, information and that's because I think there's a, a lot of shame into failing anything really in life and people don't see failure as a path to growth and Honestly, if you see a lot of successful people, it's okay whenever they talk about their failures once they're at the other end of the tunnel, right? But whenever people are currently going through failure, it's really difficult to talk about it with others. I'm honestly already processed it for the most part. Yes, it really, really sucks, guys. Um, it's, it's so weird because I had gotten basically B's in every course beforehand, and I was feeling good, I was feeling confident, even up until the last week of CVPR. I felt completely comfortable in that I was going to move on, and then this happened, but, you know, I had to meet with the committee and tell them what happened, what was going on in my life, and I think that's one of the big things. Medical school is really, really hard, guys, so, like, you guys have read medical school, there's a lot of information coming at you, and if there's something going on in your life outside of medical school that really cuts into the time, into your mental capacity and to your focus, it is going to affect you in your studies. <clears throat> um, it was really hard, but, you know, I told my family, and everybody has been extremely supportive. My whole family that I told was really supportive, and they're like, you know what, it's part of, like, life, that's what happens. And I processed it. I think, I mean, I'm talking about it now, this is helping with the process, but I wanted to share with you guys because I think this isn't talked about a lot I don't, I couldn't really find a video, I, I see a lot of videos where like students drop out of school um, and then I, like there's nothing going on after that, like on their channels or whatever, so I'm just sharing this with you guys, um, you know, it really sucks but I'm allowed to repeat the year, so I'm going to repeat the year, I'm going to keep chasing this dream of mine and I've told you guys before, I'm not extremely smart, I have to put in a lot of work into uh, learning these things and this material, uh, but I put in the work and I just fell a little bit short for reasons, of course, I'm not going to tell you guys everything that happened and wh what happened um, that caused this, but just know, I think one of the biggest things, you know, I told some of my mentors and some of my friends and um, the biggest thing I learned is that you don't know what's going on in people's lives and people can be going through hell and they can look perfectly fine on the outside and just not share that with the world and I just want you guys to know not to um, you know you don't know what's going on behind the scenes you know I share a lot with you guys on here but I don't share everything and I just want you guys to uh, make sure that if something is like if you see somebody struggling help them don't judge other people based on what you guys can see because there is a ton going on in the background and that's how medical school is like medical school takes up 90% of your time and then if there's other stuff that will cut into that it's gonna really affect you um, I'm really excited I start again July 11th honestly uh, all the material I've already seen so it should be easy in a sense um, for me to get through this year again, uh, I barely fell short of CVPR, and you know, ultimately, it might even help me get a really good score on STEP. Is what I'm kind of looking at it now. Uh, this summer, basically, what I've been doing, I've just been doing practice questions, studying as if I hadn't failed a year because I already have the whole year down, and continue studying everything consistently. You know, like the space repetition, and everything, so I can remember everything when it comes up again. And basically, I'm going to see all the material again once before step, like in the medical school context. But I'm going to be able to do a lot more like practice, test, and questions. I think that's going to be my main focus this whole next year because I've already 
gotten through everything and pretty much passed everything except for the last um, little bit of it. So I just wanted to share this with you guys, you know, the whole point of this channel was kind of to document my journey and share with you guys what's going on and <laughs> this is not what I expected on obviously, but I'm sharing it with you guys anyways. And I just want to thank everybody that supported me on the path I've been so far. Uh, basically, everybody's been super supportive. And thank you all for watching. I hope that if somebody is going through this right now, you're not the only one. I'm going through it too. Um, I'm not the first that this has happened to, and I'm definitely not going to be the last. And, you know, I just wanted to share this failure with you guys because there's a shame and stigma with sharing failures unless you're already at the top then it's alright but uh, I'm sitting in my garage right now it's really freaking hot I'm sweating um, thank you all for supporting me and yeah just addressing the elephant in the room I am repeating the first year of medical school I'll see you guys in my next video